Hi, this is a little intro to a new feature in Curvy 3D Go, the, um, the brush strokes, where you can create 3D m meshes out of uh, brush strokes. I'm just going to create a cube, give it a little bit of a rotate, to get a little jaunty angle, um, and then it's ready to turn into a brush stroke. So I'm going to pick the experimental menu and brush strokes. So it's brand new and it hasn't got the official interface yet. It's got this big pile of commands at the side. But don't worry, we'll make that simpler with time. So when you've selected brush strokes, you're given the little pencil icon on your mouse, which means you can draw. So I'm going to draw a shape and a the first thing which has come up is a, like a stretched, warped version of my cube. I can change the, the radius of that effect. And I can also edit the curve. Um, if I t edited the curve into a straight line, um, you'd see it becomes just a copy of the cube. Um, now I'm going to show you some variations on the brush stroke. Uh, we can copy, paste, and duplicate these strokes like, like everything else. So let's make a few different variations. Uh, so first thing to try, turning on array mode. This makes lots of little copies of the object instead of stretching it. So turning on the array, when we t change the radius now, it'll make more or less copies. So say we've got a, uh, an array and we want to do something a bit different with it. We can maybe use a different primitive. So let's try with a, a cylinder. Um, this is a slightly more advanced technique. You hold down control and click on the action you want it to be. So I'm on, uh, selecting the action, holding down to control. The currently used object is green. I want uh, my cylinder to be controlling it. So holding down control, clicking on cylinder, and now my cylinder is used. If I wanted the cube, I'd hold down control and click on the cube. Uh, okay, let's do something else. Let's make a chain. Um, chains want to be closed loop, so I'm going to turn on closed loop. Press S a bit to smooth, and we've got a very primitive chain loop. Um, it's a bit wide. There we go. So once again, we go to experimental brushstrokes, and then we draw a line. The default is a stretched one, which we don't want at all. So we want to turn it into an array. Um, this doesn't look right at all. For starters, it's wider than it is long, um, and the links aren't joining up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rotate the curve. I'm going to make it a bit longer so you can see it's definitely deliberately done like that. Um, so the vertical length is usually the one which is stretched along. So now if I press Y, another little trick to update, select the connected strokes, press Y, um, show the keyboard shortcuts, press Y, and it's updated. Um, if we wanted to get fancy, we could make a sort of slight kink in our and all of the, yeah, you know, you know what I'm doing. Um, let's get rid of that. Press Y, update it. Um, let's turn it back into a more chain-like effect. Um, so I'm going to use array offset to link the links, and then I'm going to twist the links by about 90 degrees. You could have less for, for a twisty chain. 
Whoa, that's not what I wanted. There we go. So that change done. And if you want to change the resolution, the radius, you can have little chains or big chains. Uh, we can hide the bits we're not using. Um, I quite like to actually ch chuck them all in a group. So I'm going to control G them. And those will be my um, shapes. Let's just hide all of the shapes. Um, so what else can we do with this? Um, let's show you two slightly more advanced features. Um, in fact, I'm going to hide everything, make a an object, a lathe object. Um, you notice up in the edit menu, there's a draw on frozen command uh, tick box. I've not found a good way to organize this yet at the moment. If you want to sculpt over the surface of another object, you freeze the object um, in the groups panel. So I'm going to freeze the object with this little snowflake in the groups panel. Now that object is frozen, we can't click it or select it. Um, but because we've got drawn frozen set, whenever we draw a new uh, shape, it'll cling to the surface of the old shape. And now we turn it into a brush stroke. And, and now if we draw over the surface, it'll start off stretched, turn into a ray. drawn our spine over the surface. You notice in the middle it's a bit underneath. That's because the uh, the curve's been smoothed when it was drawn. I'm just using shift and move, the widget soft move pull tool. Pull it out of the surface to make things a bit clearer to see. I'm going to turn off the outline, tweak the the sort of the twist of the line by using local rotate and holding down shift. See, so we can twist part of the, the curve in or out. Um, and this will update if, if we deform the curve, it'll keep that twist. And if we smooth, it'll also smooth the, the bit that we've twisted out. So let's do that again. I've got the local rotate tool, holding shift, dragging. Um, you change the area it's affecting with the intensity. So if I hold shift, drag with the local move tool, it'll twist the entire, entire curve. Okay, let's make a simple shape out of this. So a uh, simple swirl. Um, Move the original out of the way. Uh, so that's stretched out. Um, if we change the pitch, we can change the direction it is stretched in. Point to point. A normal lathe is round. Uh, however, if we use brush strokes, turn it on lathe mode, we have a lathe which is shaped like our brush.